Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to write a SQL query to implement a very common requirement which is the insert update operations during a data load process. Now there are various ways and various tools to achieve this. This is mostly done in the extraction transformation load layer which is the ETL tools will be performing this operation but sometimes there might be a requirement to perform it in the database and for this purpose we are going to use the merge statement in our video today. There are also other ways to perform the same requirement and we have already covered them in a separate video and I have put a link above and you can check that link out. It is also in the description below if you want more options to perform the insert update or the incremental load operations. We are going to work with a very simple data set. We have a staging table called the stage products and a dimension table called the dimension products. The staging products contains data from the daily batch load. So you can see that there are two records in this table. One record is bikes, which we can see already exists in the dimension table. So we can see that there's an update on product price for this record. And the record is strikes, which we can see is a new insert record. So it needs to be inserted in the dimension table. So let's see how we can achieve this using the merge statement in SQL Server. Now merge statement is a single statement that can be returned to perform the inserts, updates, as well as deletes if needed. This is broadly the syntax which you need to use. So you just write your merge statement, you define your target tables, so your target table in this case is going to be the dim product table. You define your source table, which is going to be the staging table. You define your search condition, which is going to be a join condition. So you have to define your keys over here. Then matched, which means the record already exists in your target table. Then it is going to be an update. You can define your update here when not matched, which means it is a new record coming from your source table. Then you can per perform an insert in the target table. And when not matched by source, which means it is not coming the source. So there might be scenarios where you want to match the entire data set comes from the source along with new records. And if any record is missing in the source, you want to delete it from your target table, which is a very rare requirement, but that can also be implemented by this condition over here. So let's start writing a merge query using this template and just replace the target tables, the source tables and the search condition criteria, etc. So merge target table, the target table for us is going to be the dim products table. And let's just remove the square bracket. Using the table source, which is a source table. So the source table for us is going to be the stage products table. So that's going to be a source. So merge dim products as target using stage products as source on search condition. So this search condition has to be your key, the join between the target table and the source table. So the join between these tables is going to be on the product ID column. So going back to our condition, we are going to say on target dot product ID is equal to source dot product ID when matched, which means if we want to perform an update, which columns should be updated. So we are going to perform an update in that case. And we're going to set the target dot product price equal to source dot product price. What we're going to do is we're just going to update the product price column. We are not updating the product name column or if there are other columns that need to be updated because this is a very simple data set, there might be other columns, many more columns that need to be updated, then you need to add all those columns in your update statement. So this is simply an update statement, the same syntax that it follows. You can just put your set command to update multiple columns. So now we have updated on the product price. In our example, we're just updating the one column. We come to the next condition, which is when not matched by target. So in that case, we are going to insert the column. So then insert 
and we have to define our columns which we are going to insert so all the columns need to be inserted because it's an insert record so product id product name and product price and what values are going to insert from the source so source dot product id source dot product name And source dot product price and we're not going to include the when not matched by source we're not going to delete the column so i'm just going to leave it as it is and now we're simply going to execute this query you can see that there are two rows affected which means one row has been inserted and one row has been updated going back to our original tables let's run these queries again and now we can see that in the dim product table the product price has been updated for bikes as well as the new record for trikes has been inserted. So this merge statement makes it really easy to perform any incremental loads, insert updates in your database in a single query. I hope that you found this video useful. If you did, then please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.